basically we've, we've done a fair few gigs at this stage and we end up um, getting a manager who, I think the story is a good, I think he was down in London watching Kasabian and Noel was in the crowd. Can't remember where it was. I'm sure it was London. Anyway, he got, um, he managed to get talking to Noel um, after the gig had finished and kind of said, look, I'm looking after a band in the Northeast. Would you mind if I send you some of their demos and that and have a listen? Which he did. And um, true to Noel's word, he, he he got back and gave a bit of feedback. It was, it was all really positive stuff. Um, So, yeah, we, we, I remember getting the phone call. I was at work at the time and he, uh, the manager rang, rang us all and says, look, are you, are you sitting down kind of thing? And you sort of immediately thought it was going to be bad news. I don't know why. It was like, oh, what's happened? <laughs> who's died? Like, yeah, yeah. I know who's died. Yeah, what what, what, what have we done? He's like, um, I've got, got your gig. Um, right, okay. And says, yeah, you, you're going to support, you're going to support Noel Gallagher at the um, Metro Arena in Newcastle. He's with the High Flying Birds. Obviously, Oasis had split. Then it was his, uh, it was his first tour, the first High Flying Birds tour, the first album. So I was like, shit, what? Like... <laughs> I mean, the Metro Arena, for, I mean, that it's about, I think it's about 10,000 capacity or something. I don't know if you've yeah. been. Yeah, yeah. Um, big, big venue. I mean, but I think the biggest we play in front of at that point was probably about 1,000. He came down to see us before we went on. Um, so what happened is the, the, the singer's dad, Mark, who was the guy who, like I say, sort all the sound out and stuff. He went to get some food for us in the canteen. And then about 10, 15 minutes later, there was a knock on the door and we just presumed it was Mark coming back with the with the food for Saul and like the, the, the green room in the back sort of thing. Um, so I left it and then he sort of like braid on the door. So we sort of shout and come in, come in Mark. And then uh, eventually when it opened it and Noel was kind of stood there. Um, I think I'm sure it was me who opened the door. And I'm just from the sort of the jaw, like hitting the floor. Like, um, so yeah, can I come in? Just come have a bit, bit chat on me and stuff. Like, yeah, of course you can't get yourself in. So, <laughs> No, so, actually, yeah. this is our dressing room. Get out. Yeah, no, sorry, no. We've got uh, some rehearsing to do on stage in 10 minutes, mate. I'll come back. Busy. <laughs> well, yeah, he came in and um, 15, 20 minutes or so, just sort of talked to us about studios he'd been using. Um, I think it'd been the Brits a few weeks before, told about how that how that had went and that. So for, for me, I, I think them, them moments with him, you know, in the dressing room with the band, probably trumped the, the gig itself if I'm honest it was so surreal you know yeah so we you, you just came and sat down with you and just just cool no no guard dead, or anything like that nah nothing dead dead nice you know what I mean and friendly and stuff we got a photo with my still got the photo on, on my phone to this day like and we look we look really really young in it but <laughs> um yeah just stuck with them yeah just just dead chatty and a bit of advice when it comes to recordings. I think we were doing the studio that summer to do some stuff. So we give us some sort of tips and things to do and we'll go back in the studio and that. Um and I remember this, I remember we because I, I was I was drumming at the time, but I was going to be going back onto the guitar and Sam, the original drummer, was come back into the band. So we're going to go back with four piece these sort of few years later. I remember Noel asking what we're all done and when 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 I told him I was the drummer tonight but I was going to be on the guitar by the summer this was just before the photo was taken actually I told him that we sort of sat there up like arms on each other for the photo I can remember him saying to him in the air he had his arm over and he just went you smart ass little fucker and then the photo was taken <laughs> and then so I just got this sort of beam and grin on my face like I've never been so humbled to be called the smart ass little fucker by, by anyone in my life 